Hello everyone, Matthew here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com and you've seen many of my videos with the Ray-Ban 2132 new Wayfair where I'm going to introduce a new frame into my lineup. It is the Ray-Ban 2140. Tonight I will be demonstrating on color 902 which is the classic tortoise in the 54 eye size. But the frame, just a comparison, I'll grab the 50. The most popular colors are the classic black which is color 901 Ray-Ban 2140 901 in the 50 eye size it also comes in the other most popular color is of course the same frame information Ray-Ban 2140 color 902 which is the classic tortoise in the 50 eye size and the uh, only way you can really tell the difference in indirect light the classic dark tortoise is very dark not as dark as the black plastic but when you hold it up to the light that's when you can actually see the difference in the tortoise when you're outside inside it's going to still be a very dark color it is not a light tortoise but i will be demonstrating tonight on the 54 eye size i'm going to go ahead and take it out of the original packaging that ray-ban sends it to me and of course you're going to get all the manufacturer's original packaging including of course the ray-ban case the italian leather Ray-Ban case and they can either come in a black case or a brown Ray-Ban you never know I've ordered two of the identical colors one comes in a black case one comes in a brown case if you'd like a particular color case please email me if you don't I'm just gonna give you the case they sent it to me and of course the Ray-Ban cleaning cloth and the frame comes with a plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples or to prevent the temples from rubbing together during shipping from Italy and you're gonna I'm gonna put that on there when I ship to you and of course free shipping anywhere in the United States um, I'm gonna take that off for now while I'm working on it and I'm gonna go ahead and take the frame and put it into the tracing element of my edger everyone wants to know how does the computer know what shape lens to cut this is why I'm going to hang on let me program some stuff here this little stylus is going to pop up and it's going to go around and trace the shape of the right lens before moving over and tracing the shape of the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy genuine authentic Ray-Ban frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses which is in this case these will be non-prescription my receipt has my federal ID tax number so if you have vision insurance or flex dollars you will get reimbursed for this purchase whether they are prescription or not so this is in just a moment the outline of your lens is going to pop up it is magnified I'm going to shrink it down to original size that green outline is going to be the shape of the lens while I'm done cutting with it now let's see I offer this frame with clear lenses but I also offer them with transition and transitions with anti-glare for five of the six lenses I only use Essilor brand of course these are the transitions airwear and I only use the thinner lighter weight unbreakable polycarbonate lenses that have both UVA and UVB protection ahead of time I went ahead and removed the heavy glass lenses that's what heavy glass sounds like you drop these on the ground they shatter so again I cannot emphasize enough that I only use the unbreakable polycarbonate lenses Essilor's name for polycarbonate is airwear because these are light as air the TR stands for transitions 7 the Roman numeral 7 GG stands for green for this one as you can see the transition signature 7 green lens with Crizal Avance these are the lenses I'll be working with tonight I also have the polycarbonate transition 7 gray lenses transition signature 7 gray with Crizal Alizé I have the Essilor brand polycarbonate again airwear transition 7 brown lenses and somehow Essilor did not get their bid in to make every single lens so the transition signature 7 brown lenses with anti-glare coating somehow younger optics was able to bid on the contract and get that so this is the only lens that Essilor does not do this is by younger which is another premium lens manufacturer so again we have transitions gray transitions gray with Crizal Alizé transitions green transitions green with Crizal Amance transitions brown transitions brown with 
the younger anti-glare coating super hydrophobic now let's see that's done let's take the lens out of the protective sleeves They all come with a little plastic laminate on the front of the lens to protect them during shipping. And of course I can include that too when I ship to you. Take the other lens out. Now if these were prescription lenses, which I offer at no additional cost, I would put these in my Marco 101 lensometer, get them lined up, put three dots on there so I can orient them to know exactly how the lens is gonna go into the frame. But because these are non-prescription, it does not matter. But I'm gonna put this lens onto that platform there you can see the outline of the lens as large as as long as this dark diagram is larger than this green diagram everything is going to fit perfectly now this is a block i need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting this is what's going to hold it inside the machine so i need to apply a double-sided adhesive sticker of which i might have a couple left one two the black side is the sticky side so i'm going to place this onto the first block and of course, if you've seen my other videos, I like to call these Jenny from the block. Just block is such a boring word. Now the back of this is that little silver button is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice. The first job, let me pull the paper away again to make the black side sticky. This magnet is going to correspond to the magnet in this arm. I'm going to take my stylus, hit the button. That arm is going to come down and place the block onto the lens, this could be the right lens, it could be the left lens, it doesn't matter since these are non-prescription, but we're gonna go ahead and make that one the right. We're gonna do the same thing for the left lens. Let's minify it so you can see. If I did it right here, that would, that would leave it out, so I'm not gonna make a mistake there, not with the price of these lenses. And by the way, you are getting the lenses at my cost. How often do you see that? How's that for honesty in business? Hit that button again, the block's gonna come down and is now applied to the left lens. So this is the edger. This is what does all the work. This costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. I always recommend everyone go out and buy their own, then put it on your kitchen counter and you can cut glasses at home. You won't need me anymore. The actual cutting wheel, let me grab my stylus, is over here on the far right with that white residue on there. That's from cutting lenses. That's like a heavy grit sandpaper. It's gonna grind away your lens material until it's the final size this wheel in the center with that channel that valley that's what's going to put the v-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame and now the magnet is going to do its job the second time it's going to hold it in place into the chuck or as i like to call it the charles because i don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck but i'm gonna wake up the computer that is the shape of your lens that we're gonna be cutting. And I'm gonna go ahead and program the computer. These are polycarbonate lenses. I do, I'm do. i gonna cut this on the soft cycle because of the anti-glare coating. The red dot means it cuts fast. The two green dots, stars means it's gonna cut slow because of the anti-glare coating and because it's polycarbonate and I always like to cut slow. I am not gonna polish the lens and I'm not gonna put a bevel on the front surface of the lens, the convex surface of the lens. I am only gonna put a bevel on the concave rear surface of the lens closest to me. Now, I'm gonna hit the green arrow, which is start in every language. That door closes, that clamp shuts, and then the lens is gonna be traced by two white styluses. The first time going around, making sure the lens is large enough to fit into the frame. The second time, it's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the best cosmetic look possible with the least amount of edge thickness possible. Now, of course, these are non-prescription, so you're going to have no edge thickness whatsoever, but I cut very high prescriptions all day long, and that's when that comes into play, and it's much more critical. If you see light flickering in the background, that is water running, but that's only to collect the optical sawdust as it cuts polycarbonate cuts dry where plastic and high index plastic cut wet so it is just touched down onto the cutting wheel and forgive me for repeating myself but I wanted to point out that these are again the Essilor brand lenses where they refer to polycarbonate as airwear because they are light as air well that's what they say transition 7 GG stands for green with Crizal Avance and of course 25 SPF but all all transition lenses have UVA and UVB protection built into the lens 
We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin from overexposure, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes that never needs to be reapplied, unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that you have to reapply every few hours when you're in direct contact with the sun, or intense exposure to the sun. Now, if you notice your lens is completely flat, just like a nickel, I could take it out and it would stand up on the counter. Now it's getting the V-shaped bevel applied to the edges. And just a moment ago, the styluses were tracing the lens once again. This is a redundant backup system just to double check all of its measurements previously to make sure that it places the bevel in the correct spot for the least amount of edge thickness. But again, these being non-prescription for demonstration purposes, you will have no edge thickness whatsoever. If you would like prescription lenses, just email me with your prescription and I'll see if I can still do it for you at that, at that price. Now, if you notice water has just kicked in, it does that for the last 20 seconds of the cutting cycle just to wash away any optical debris. This arm that has just come out has a little spinning wheel on the right hand end of it. That's what's going to apply what's known as the safety bevel to the rear surface, the concave surface of the lens, just to smooth everything out. Because again, should these be a thicker prescription lens, should it protrude out of the back surface of the frame at all and come into contact with the cheek, the lens would be very smooth and have no rough edges whatsoever. So in just a moment, I will open this door with my mind. One, two, three. No, 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 no. I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I can, it just takes a couple hours, but I can do it. So I'm gonna open up the chuck. I know, free bad humor with every pair of glasses sold. It never gets old though. So, I'm just going to run my thumbnail along to make sure all the optical debris has been removed. I'm going to take your frame. I'm going to tuck the lens in at the outside corner. Using my thumbs, I press down at the nose and it snaps in easily. I'm going to do the same thing now for the left lens. I'm going to tuck it in to the Chuck, the Charles, the Charlie. And hit the L button, which stands for not right. I think that's what L stands for. Hit the start button, just like before the door closes. That's not what I'm reaching for, I'm reaching for the flashlight. By the way, I do have a smaller flashlight, I just can't find it. But the clamp shuts and the stylus is gonna go around. It's gonna trace the shape of the frame as my finger goes around with it, making sure the lens is large enough to fit, which it is. And again, measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel. So you have no edge thickness whatsoever. And of course, again, in this frame, you're not going to have edge thickness. You'd have to have a pretty significant prescription. But I work with all types of frames, all types of prescriptions, and I'm going to need to know how to position the lens for the best cosmetic value possible. I could move the bevel forwards. I could move it backwards if I needed to for the best cosmetic look. I'm going to go ahead and take this block off. It is no longer needed. Pull that sticker off. Now, these lenses have the anti-glare coating. I'll demonstrate the transitions in a little bit. But what anti-glare does is it's three features in one. It eliminates glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain, but from street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead fluorescent lights. The second feature, it's an anti-reflective lens, which goes by the abbreviation ARC, anti-reflective coating. This lens does not have the anti-reflective coating, and you can see the difference. You can see how the fluorescent lights reflect off of this lens. So when someone's looking at you, they don't see their reflection in your glasses. It makes for much better eye contact. And of course, the number one reason people get it, if someone takes a picture of you or if you take a selfie with a flash, you will not see the flash lit up in the lens. You will see just your eyes. And the third feature that I like is that the machine that applies the anti-glare coating costs well over a million dollars and it takes over 24 hours to apply. They literally vaporize seven different coatings onto the lens. So because of the time and the expense, they put the strongest scratch coating possible on top of the anti-glare to protect their time and investment. So they wouldn't have to do it because when anti-glare came out 20 to 30 years ago, they did not put a stronger scratch coating on and people felt it had it was an inferior coating, had a tendency to scratch. That's why Crizal and Younger put the hardest scratch coating possible, the most premium of all the scratch coatings on top of their anti-glare lenses. Now all the lenses you will get from me, even without anti-glare, have an incredible scratch coating on top. It's just that's the difference in the price of the anti-glare. They include the scratch coating, the premium scratch coating on top of that. So again, that little arm is coming out. 
with that spinning wheel which is going to apply the safety bevel to the rear surface of the lens which tells me we're just a few seconds away from being finished. Now all Ray-Ban sunglasses, 99% of Ray-Ban sunglasses are made in Italy. 99% of their ophthalmic glasses, ophthalmic meaning is designed to have prescription lenses put into it, are made in China. There's no knockoff about being made in China. That is where iPhones, iPads, computers, microwaves, pacemakers, every type of delicate machinery, spy equipment <laughs> that is recording this video. Um, my GoPro camera I'm wearing on my head are made in China. They do make inexpensive plastic materials, but they also make some high-end equipment. So even though the Ray-Ban ophthalmic prescription glasses are made in China, um, they are still made to the same high degree of standards that they would do in Italy. And of course the Ray-Ban 5121, which is the ophthalmic version of this, which only comes in the 50 eye size and the 47. I'm sorry, let me think about it. Yeah, that's correct. Where the sunglasses come in the 54 and the 50. Sunglasses generally run larger because it is for protection. And of course I've already removed the heavy glass lenses, which reduces the weight of this frame tremendously once you take out the heavy breakable glass lenses. And now let me insert the last of the unbreakable polycarb lenses that snaps in there. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this block that is no longer needed. Now, one thing I always like to do in this part of the video, as I clean your lenses and remind everyone that free shipping anywhere in the United States, but when you get these in the mail, there is a very small chance that this frame could fit too loose or it could fit too tight. However, there is an 80% chance that one side, that one, this frame is gonna sit higher on one side than the other. That is because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other and I am no different and I'll demonstrate that in just a moment but I'm going to get these in standard alignment first and of course everyone's going to get a premium microfiber cleaning cloth with their purchase and I also include instructions on how to care for not only your eyeglasses and eyeglass case but for your cleaning cloth so it will last you for years no other seller does that now again I'm going to get these in standard alignment also known as the three point stance. The three points are one, two and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. When I say wobble, mine wobble on the counter because I have one ear that's higher than the other. I am part of that 80% but my glasses sit level on me. And for those of you keeping score at home tonight I am wearing the Gucci 2248 in the color blue. So let me put these back on so I can see what I'm doing yo. Flip this over, press down, there is no wobble. I close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly in the same amount of tension on each hinge. Now, this is what the lenses look like while they are clear. I'm gonna go ahead and activate these for you. And I am introducing these frames one at a time, so if there's a frame you want that I don't have listed, just simply email me and I'll be sure to get it out there for you and make it available. I don't have every frame listed on my website yet. But this is what the lenses look like while they are clear and indoors. I'm gonna go ahead and activate these in my little transitions box here in the corner, which just has a strong UV light in there. And I'm gonna turn it on. And as you can see, it takes transition lenses about 30 to 45 seconds for them to darken when exposed to the sun. It takes a little bit longer when you come back inside, 45 seconds to a minute to a minute 15 to return back to it virtually clear. Now this is important, pay attention everyone. All transition lenses will get dark on day one. Give them two weeks of exposure to the sun and they're going to continue to darken every day for the first two weeks until they get to their final setting. After two weeks they will work for years with maximum performance. The only time they won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car that's made after 1992. That's when they started putting UV protection in the windshield, UV inhibitors to prevent your dashboard from cracking from sitting in the sun or your upholstery from rotting. That is why transition lenses don't turn dark in a car. Now, if you have a convertible or a motorcycle, yes, they will darken or as soon as you step out of the car. This is the other important thing to note. Transition lenses are temperature sensitive. They will get darker for anyone who's living in hot climates. They will get darker when it's 85 degrees and below than they will when it's 95 and above. I'm going to do this one more time since I was yapping. But I remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable, everyone's miserable when it's over 100 degrees outside. Nobody works 100% in 100 degree weather. 
So again, give them two weeks of exposure to the sun and they will continue to darken. This is just the first time they've been exposed. So again, this is the first time in the transitions green, they will darken up until they become, you know, very close to the Ray-Ban G15, which was the original lens that was in there. Again, don't worry, these are gonna continue to darken, these never will. So again, you can get either, you can get the black frame with transitions green, with transitions gray, or with transitions brown, and of course you can get the tortoise frame and the same lens options, green, gray, and brown, both with or without anti-glare coating, or you can just get the lenses clear and just wear them as the coolest geek sheet glasses out there. This is the original hipster glasses worn by presidents, celebrities, musicians. John Kennedy wore these on his boat. Bob Dylan wore these in many videos. Of course, they were wearing this frame in the black. But you know, this frame is made in about 50 colors. So if you want something other than the black or the tortoise, again, just email me. I'll be more than happy to respond back to you and let you know the availability of the color you want. Some of these come in a special edition series that are only available for about six months. That's just the way it goes, but in all the other colors, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to special order one for you. It just may add three to four days. If it's coming out of Italy, it will add 10 to 14 days onto your purchase, but I'll let you know in advance about the availability. So if anyone has any questions, you can email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com. And hopefully everyone else has got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.